Hello, hello, hello! So today I have a special treat for you and me because today it is my birthday! Happy birthday to me! Woo, woo! <laughs> I wanted to do a little uh, pattern for my birthday and this one here is not quite, well the pattern is ready, my piece is not ready. Let's just make do with that. Uh, this is my little new part, uh, my, my new party, my new party pattern, it's called block party dee, 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 dee. and this is actually a bit innovative for me because it's three color mosaic crochet so to do this i'm going to show you just here the basics how you do like a little sample here you see with three colors and you can just keep repeating always these three colors a b c or you just need two rows of each color actually or you can just go on changing and i'm doing this scrappy little um cushion cover with all my blues. It was supposed to be blue, but then it sort of went off track, but now I'm back on blue. So uh, the pattern is ready and up on Ravelry. Uh, it comes with both written instructions for in the round and how to work it flat and with charts and everything. And then I did this little video now here to show you how to do it. It's really easy and so much fun. What did I want to say as well? Yes, uh, I am also doing my annual birthday sale. Whoop, whoop. Uh, so actually my sons keep telling me this is not a good business model mom uh, you're so old you can't be doing like a <laughs> sale that goes with your age they're like you remember when Christ was born right <laughs> well this year I am 43 years old Woo! and so you will get 43 dis uh, percent discount on all my patterns on Ravelry from now the 21st of February this is my birthday until the end of the month no code needed or anything just happens automatically at the checkout and I've been doing this for a while now because I remember now the first time I did it, it was 38 percent so yeah really it's just like me the sale gets better every year <laughs> <laughs> so 43% discount and my new three color mosaic block party pattern and let's go I hope you like it choo choo ciao ciao happy birthday to me <laughs> okay off we go with the three color mo mosaic crochet so we have here you will need at least three colors and um and the hook to suit your yarn I have this DK yarn here this is just something I had at hand just to show you this little sample and we have color A, B and C and we're always going to be working in that um, sequence. So I went ahead and did the first couple of rows here uh, this is exactly the same technique as a normal mosaic crochet. It's just a little different with these uh, three colors but it's the same basis so this is just here um, I've just done the two foundation rows here in color B and then introduce color A here and it's just one border stitch at the end of the row, the beginning of row, single crochet into the back loop all the way over to the other end and then you do the border stitch at the end of the row. If you're not familiar with this, please do check out my my video on um, beginner's guide to mosaic crochet there, I show you this in great detail and very slowly. But we are building on that here now. Okay, so the reason uh, I started with color B is that if I don't do it like that, then it won't be this, the in the pattern. It wouldn't be A, B, C, A, B, C, and it just freaked me out. So we start with two, you uh, uh, chain up with color B and do two foundation rows in that same color. And then you go into color A. Now, uh, for this pattern, which is my block party birthday pattern. Did he? La, 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 la. And I want to show you this one, but this one has obviously way more than three colors. So I thought that wasn't clear enough. <laughs> so I'm doing like a little sample to show you in the three colors. But you can use as many colors as you want. You just need two rows always in the same color and then you can change. But this is what we're going to be working on. And so this is a really simple pattern. I just wanted to dip my toe into the three color mosaic crochet. So I decided to do a simple design. And it's just... Um, a repetition of eight stitches okay so if you're doing in the round then you ch you chain up um any any repetition of um eight stitches stitches that you like if you're doing it flat then you do eight stitches plus four extra so that it's uh, symmetrical on both sides and so here i chained up um two repetitions that's 16 plus 4 that's 20 and then added the two stitches here for the 
for the border stitches. So I have a total of 20, uh, two stitches here now, okay? And so it's 20 for the repetition because the border stitch doesn't go, that sits outside the repetition really. So two rows here, foundation rows in color A, nay, in color B, and then color A here, introduction, and now starts the pattern itself. And then I'm gonna use color B again. Okay, so this is the pattern. And this is how the three color mosaic crochet works. We start with a border stitch at the beginning of the row, as always. It's one single one chain and one single crochet into both loops here. And now starts the pattern. It's just four single crochets. And as in always in mosaic crochet, you do the single crochets into the back loop only. Okay, that's four single crochets into the back loop. And now we're going to start doing our extended DCs. Now, in normal mosaic crochet, you're going down one row and you do double crochet. Now, in this three color mosaic crochet, we're going to do uh, go down two rows. So we're not working in our last row. We're going to go down one and two all the way down here. And we're going to do the extended double crochet, which I'm going to show you. So you yarn over. As before, you always follow the stitch that you were supposed to go into really in the last row here. And then you go down one and two into the corresponding stitch here two rows down and you yarn over and pull your yarn up. Now, normally in double crochet, you yarn over and go through two and then an another two. But with extended DC, you're gonna yarn over and just go through one in the beginning and then yarn over and go through two and yarn over and go to the through the last two. Okay, easy peasy. Okay, we're gonna do four of those. So yarn over, go down two rows, up and under the front loop here, pull up our yarn. And now we have three up on our hook and we yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two and two. Let's do a couple more slow like this. Yarn over, go into the loop that we're working in, two and pull our yarn up. That's three up on our hook. Yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two and two. This will maybe slow you down a bit in the beginning because if you're not used to doing the this extra step here for the extended DCs, but then you get the hang of it, okay? And this just really gives the perfect length of the stitch here to cover these two rows that we wanted to cover here, okay? So that was one repetition, four single crochets, back loop only, four extended double crochets, two rows down, and we're gonna do another repeat. And that's one and two and three and four. And then another four double crochets, finding the stitch here we're supposed to go into normally and then go one and two down. Pull the yarn up and then through one, through two, through two. Dee, 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 dee. Easy does it. But this really, when you do it with three colors, then it does give new possibilities in design and colors and what have you and it's just great fun so through one through two through two okay and now we do we have now here two repetition but so that it's symmetric if you're doing a flat piece then we're going to finish here that's why we do the extra four here for this one two three and four it's basically just then half of the normal repetition okay and then we do the Porter stitch at the end of the row. Snippity snip. And whoopa. Okay. So this is what it looks like now. And we are now going to continue and go into color C. And let us pray on the yarn gods that can just pick them. Yes. <laughs> Nice. You never know when you go into into these if it's gonna like barf over all the yarn. <laughs> okay. So this was row. We did one, two, three, four. So now it's row five, and this one here is all just single crochets. We're introducing a new color. So basically, when you introduce the new color, then it's just single crochets all over. And that is sort of the base for where you're going to work your block um, in that color into it, you know? 
Got to put the block into the block party. This is actually my birthday pattern this year. So I thought it was very appropriate to call it block party. I want to just call it block party because it looks like these blocks. Um, so that was a uh, huh? big coincidence. Okay, so this row is all just single crochet. One single crochet into the back loop of each stitch until you get to the border stitch at the end of the row. And then you do one single crochet into both loops of that stitch and do not split the yarn. One chain, break the yarn. No, ow! Jesus, oh my God, okay. And we'll bar. <laughs> very smooth. Uh, that's my middle name. <laughs> okay, so now we have here A, B, and C. And then we go back to A then, which is this color here. And now we're going to do the blocks on the sort of opposite sides. You see? And now we start with the repetition for row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To the single crochet here border stitch and now we start working down and we're going to work down to the same color we have up on our hook to this pink here and we're going to work over these two so they you can't see these two lines here okay so we yarn over we go straight down two rows here and it's easy now because you can always see you're going to the same color and we pull our yarn up you have three up on your hook yarn over go through one yarn over go through two and two and as before, we do these four extended DCs. Three and four, just the same as before when I showed you slower. Okay, now we have the four, four extended DCs and you see how the pattern is making up. We're covering up the lines here. So we just have two blocks here now. And then you do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And again, we do four extended double crochets here. We go down, not, we go down one and two rows here. Whoop, all the way down here. Pull our yarn up and then we go through one and two and two. So, so the reason we're doing extended DC is because it's longer than the regular double crochet and so it's the perfect length here to cover up these two rows we want to cover up. Yeah, you see how it's forming already and then you just do four double crochets. No, single crochet, sorry. And finish with four extended double crochets. Three and four. Oops. And I'm not going to call, try and break the yarn with my hand again. And then we finish with the border stitch at the end of the row. And whoopa. Okay, so you see it's shaping up now. Okay, this was color A. So now I'm going to do always after you do the double, the extended double crochet row, then you just do the next color. You're going to do just um, single crochet. So I'm not going to show you that. But here also, if you want to make it in many different colors, if you don't just want to use three, then here now you can substitute color B if you want because as you can see here on this one here it's always just you can do like this here is color a b c a b c but i'm just always changing it because you only do two rows or rounds of each color really so here uh, if we look here so here i was i already did the foundation here for this block and then now and then i did two rows after that and then now i'm working over these you see how it goes. So at these po points, you can always change that color. Like when you do the first row in in 
ba 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 in the single crochet that's where you can change you only do you have to do always two rows in the same color so i'm going to do that single crochet row because that's just no fun and then i'll show you how to do the double crochets one more time next up uh color b again single crochet let's go bam that's done we're back to color b here and now we go to color c so as you can see it's always it's b a b c a b c now it's always going to be a b c so now we go to C again, and that's the, oops, sorry, the double crochet, the the, the extended DC row, row. And so now really this pattern really leads you on, as you can see. Now we're going to do the double crochets here, over these here, okay? But it's always the same. Well, not it's, it's not always the same. It depends on if you're starting with four single crochets and then do the double crochets, or if you're starting with the double crochets and then do it. I mean, it's it's very simple, but it's so much fun to play with. This, oh my god, I love this pattern. Block party. Okay, so now we start here with the border stitch at the end of the row, and then we're gonna do four single crochets. Basically, you know you have to do the single crochets because you don't have anywhere to put your extended dcs and now we're going to put the four extended dcs here to cover up these two lines here and again you know where to go because you have the red up on your hook and that's the red you're going to be stitching into so we yarn over go two rows down pull the yarn up like so and then we go yarn over through one yarn over through two yarn over for, through two just as before and we're covering up our other two colors and getting the third block of colors here like so and then we do four single crochets and another four extended double crochet stitches down here two rows like so So this is really lots of fun to do and very easy. And I can see so many possibilities with this in the future. This was just me dipping my toe into this three color mosaic crochet. And we will most likely see something fun happening with that in the future. But I really enjoy working on this one. And it's great for using up scraps because you only need to do two rows in each color. Okay, so you so see how this is uh, shaping up here. Now in the next one, we're going to go again with color A. And we do one. I'm not going to show you anymore because I've shown you, you know, it's, it's, it's just this on repeat. And so next up, you would just start again here really in row three. And uh, we would do one single crochet row here with color A and then comes color B again. And then we're going to do the double crochet, the extended double crochets down here to the gray always and so on and so forth. So it's really easy peasy, lots of fun. And like I said, I'm having a blast with my little cushion cover here. I was totally trying to <laughs> um, finish it before my birthday. But uh, that is not happening, so it's okay. Uh, I know you're, you know, used to me being totally on top of my game and never. <laughs> we will make do. But uh, the pattern is, is ready. It's available on Ravelry. It's a small little pattern, but still it comes with the um, all the instructions, obviously written instructions for both in the round and flat and charts as well. Uh, but I really showed you all there is here. As always, though, I do appreciate when you purchase my patterns because it helps. But um, you can also just work with this here. And it's so much fun and so easy. So now go forth and conquer my my friends with the three color mosaic crochet. Can't wait to see what you'll do with my block party pattern. Whoop, whoop. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Toodaloo.